Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new team of the year icon uh, Perez checkout. We're taking a look at someone who is, <clears throat> excuse me, six foot two, high medium work rates, right footed, five star skills with a four star weak foot. Uh, this does look like it could be the best version of Perez we've ever had in FIFA. Um, what they do with this card normally in the sided positions is that they just kind of give them the four star, four star, I think. And for the most part, unless you're building some sort of like Arsenal team, he was usually generic, right? But with this new promo for Team of the Year icon cards, they give them certain improvements that just make them more than usable for the meta of the gameplay, right? So with Perez having five star skills, that adds a new variable to the card to work with, right? Player traits, he's got the finesse shot traits, technical dribbler. So that could definitely be very nice to work with. In game attributes, uh, it's a card that looks like it's well formatted for the Hawk chemistry style because I do feel like improving the shot power could be a very ideal situation because. If we take a look at this card in game, he is a controlled player by default, right? So if you if you boost the physical as well as the shooting capabilities while working with good pace, uh, that could be something that you should definitely look into, right? Because it's either that or you give him the hunter chemistry style. The reason why I'm not too thrilled with the hunter chemistry style is because that shot power, I feel like in FIFA gameplay, it's always nice to have a cutoff of like an 80... 87 ish depending on the types of shots that you actually end up taking when it's too low it, it doesn't work that out that well like you know how sometimes i'll review midfielders and i'm like oh at least he has the higher shot power over the finishing it's really helpful to work with when you get into those high percentage strike angles now obviously for attackers the tap shot is a very very effective way of scoring but regardless it's something that i want to improve on the card so he'll have good pace on a hawk right at a 94 94 his shooting will also be in a pretty good area Passing on the card is also going to be in a good area. So it's a card that you could pretty much use in any of the attacking areas with an 88 for stamina, right? So a good cutoff there as well. Dribbling is the main thing that we have to try out because he's a six foot two player with a high and average plus body type, right? So that body type could influence the card. No defensive stats. And then he does actually have some jumping capabilities just in case I need a little bit of a physical presence uh, to work with in those main attacking positions. So yeah, definitely looks like a very interesting card. Uh, we are going to be using him in the new Boris Legend Tactics, uh, which is the 4-3-1-2, which we will be doing a review for at some point. He'll be playing in the right striker position, and we'll see how he plays. Hopefully, he is a beast. Oh, man, I was close. That was so lucky. <laughs> uh, that flick, it positioned it perfectly for me. Sold him on it again. Nicely done. Perez with two goals already. Okay, my boy. Too close. And I still scored. Oh, the extra emphasis on the touch. My goodness. And I still scored it. It's a good pass by Pirlo, too. Oh, I didn't register the skill move there. Unlucky. Mm, I should have, uh, I should have kept it going there. Try to hit him quickly with the left stick. Couldn't do it though. Says the referee, advantage. Correa. And back with cross. Will he find the net? Oh man, that whole play started with Perez too. I'm gonna tell you this right now. He is consistently getting into the right positions on a consistent basis. Like the attacking AI is brilliant. Oh. Let's go. Gotta do the skill moves a little bit to kind of open up the space there. Good stuff, good stuff. 
racing past his man. Oh man, I messed that up there. Did well though with Perez. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. But they could run onto it here. Nice touch, Perez. Let's go. Let's go! That's why Correa is the best. I love this guy. Boy, Perez has got it. Don't even worry about it. Oh, the touch took too long there, man. That's the only problem with like the heights. Like in those situations, it's going to be annoying. Manual goalkeeping will take it. Listen, it didn't register anything that I wanted to do there, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Jam, 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 jam. No, okay. Really a very poor ball. Mendy. Correa. He's got to score. Oh, dude. This is the best card we've ever had from Perez, man. This guy's sick. This guy's actually sick. Oh, that was such a good play. That was such a good play. Good job, boys. Good job, good job. I like these plays. Oh, there's no way he knew he was going to do that. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. And Valverde. Pires, able to close down the shot. Beat the one guy, still going to block the other guy. Let's go, Perez. On the first time touch there, too. Let's go. Oh, I did well there, though. I should have gone for a lob pass instead. Nice. Good build up. The small little tap top tap shot there. Oh, dude, he almost got the jam there, too. Andrea Pirlo. There will be one minute added on at the end. Can they nudge in front? Oh, maybe if I greened it there. A little bit too cautious so far. Oh, they might be onto something. Correa's in behind. Nice, good job. Small little left sticks just to get past the goalie. Oh, good effort. It's a low percentage strike, especially from that far out. Fantastic pass, Robert 
Nice. Good goal, boys. Oh, let's go. Let's go. That's shooting, though, man. Let's go. Well done, well done, well done. Pires. Pires. Just for the sauciness, you know, just for the sauciness. No, roulette, man. Roulette, roulette, roulette. Maybe one day, yay. Maybe one day you guys will actually make a good video game where all my commands actually work properly. Maybe one day, man. Eh, gotta try it. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new Perez card. So, this is 100% the best version of Perez we've ever had. Uh, that's why this promo is kind of a W, right? So the Team of the Year icon promo in general, it's really nice to have because these cards, right, when they release these guys, like you're only using these guys for sentimental value, okay? They're really, really poorly formatted. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter what you do to these, to these cards. Engine, chemistry style, Hawk, chemistry style, Hunter, like he's got a medium, medium, high and average plus. Like there's a bunch of things that are just wrong for a card that is an icon that you actually want to be able to use in these games this card exists honestly for you to get into it uh, for you to get in an sbc uh when they do those things that that's the only reason why it exists the way that it is right this card however is actually pretty good the only thing the only thing that you have to work with a little bit is the high and average plus body type at a six foot two height yes obviously sometimes you have to work with that what I noticed, however, is that, and it could be a thing, could not be a thing, I don't know. The technical dribbler traits maybe help Celt with some sharp touches that the card ends up doing, right? Um, obviously, when he's under pressure and I'm doing like le regular left stick stuff, uh, sometimes, obviously, the height and the body type could be, could be a little bit of a nuisance to work with. But the fact that they've improved this card so much to be able to work with the height and work rate is really nice, right? Because they changed the work rate to a high medium, which makes him more unique, even though medium medium is not terrible, but a high medium definitely makes it more unique. Um, the shooting came off great. I like the shooting a lot, uh, especially for like those high percentage strike areas. He did a fantastic job. I didn't feel like I needed to improve the pace even more, which is great because on a Hawk chemistry style, I felt like it was really important to boost his shot power as much as possible uh, to kind of utilize those things a little bit more, right? So the pace being good, the shooting being good is definitely a huge plus. Um, the physical stats being improved, it's helpful for the jumping area, right? So a plus eight on jumping to work with a six foot two height at a high and average plus body type is what was really helpful, right? Um, but yeah, the card was really fun to use. I, I enjoyed using him a lot. It's 100% the best version of Perez that we've ever had in FIFA, like without without any shadow of a doubt. Maybe they had like icon moments during the time periods that are a little bit decent. Maybe, I don't remember reviewing this card that often, but um, this card was actually a ton of fun to use. The only thing that you have to work with is the left stick uh, because the height and body type. But if you're using a card like this in your team, you should be using them mainly in the side positions. Like in my uh, in my team, I was using him as the right striker. And to be fair, his attacking AI worked out fine in those areas, but it would definitely be better in those side positions. Like if I'm using like a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-2-1, where I'm using him as like the right forward, right attacking mid, that type of thing, I feel like that's where you would best utilize this card for sure. But if you honestly want to play him through the middle at striker, as long as he's playing in a... I mean, you could play him as a lone striker, but... You kind of want that Korea attacking AI attacking a little bit more, but you could totally do it if you really want to. Like I said, they've definitely formatted this card uh, to be really, really nice in the game. And um, he's definitely good enough to be played in the meta of the gameplay, not just like a 
not like an improvement to a, a Modric card or a Pirlo card, like he's actually pretty good, right? Because the five star skills and the different work rates, it adds a different variable to the card um, to work with. So uh, GG's to EA and this card, uh, he's really, really cool to use for sure. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes, love you guys.